All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Who? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nerd Out 2. My name is Jack, and this is Nam, and today we have got Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Marvel Edition. Let's go, baby. I, I know you're a big Marvel fan, but I didn't want to go too broad because there's a lot of details that who knows who knows what, right? The universe is so, so extensive, yes, but I'm up for the challenge. I think you're going to do an excellent job on this. If you don't walk away with at least 32000 I'm going to be very disappointed in you. Now, this is real money coming <laughs> out of your bank account, correct? Okay, cool. Uh, no, it's coming out of Nerd Out. <laughs> However, instead instead of real money, there will be real prizes. Oh, okay. Right. So, but I will reveal the prize as we go along. Sounds good. Okay. So you have three lifelines. You have phone a friend. Which we, we, you just we just call someone. I, I got somebody in mind. <laughs> you got 50-50, which I will take away two incorrect answers. Okay. Okay. And you have asked the audience where we'll be asking our Twitter on a two-minute poll what they think the answer is. I have faith in our subscribers. But I don't think I'm gonna need any of these lifelines, so let's go. Let the games begin! Okay, your first question. What is Iron Man's real name? Oh my god. Tony Stank, B. Tony Stark, D. Tony Stunk, or D. Tony Mitchell? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna say it's me, but you know, Stink Stank Stunk is Tony Stark. A. Uh, I mean, B, excuse me. B, Tony Stark? Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. B, Tony Stark. Correct! Woo! You won $100. All right. All right, question two. The first MCU show on Disney Plus was A, Hawkeye, B, She-Hulk, C, Loki, or D, WandaVision? I, you know, the first two episodes of this particular show, I was about to give up because I was like, what is this? I'm not interested in it at all. But then it started to heat up big time, baby. D, WandaVision. Is that your final answer? Final answer and my most favorite show out of all of them so far. You have a strange taste. <laughs> Correct, D, WandaVision. Yes. yes! Okay, question three. Whose arm was used to make Stormbreaker? A, Groot, B, Bucky, C, Claw, D, Batman. Oh, wow. You know, now that I'm looking at this, all of these people, uh, I don't know about Batman, but they at one point lost an arm and that's very uh, interesting. Uh, but in order for Thor to wield that Stormbreaker, Groot, teenage Groot to be exact, uh, sacrificed himself. So uh, A, Groot, final answer. Is that your final answer? Yes. Correct, Groot. You have won three hundred dollars. Ooh. <laughs> right, question four. What precious metal can be found in Wakanda? Mm. A gold, B vibranium, C kryptonium, or D nerdinium? Nerdinium. <laughs> oh yeah, Wakanda is the richest nation on Earth, and it is because of the large deposits of vibranium. B. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Correct, it's Vibranium! You've won $500! 500! Let's go! Where are we going? Which MCU character directed Iron Man 1 and 2? A, Tony Stark slash Robert Downey Jr. Mm. B, Pepper Potts slash Gwyneth Paltrow. C, Nick Fury slash Samuel L. Jackson. Or D, Happy Hogan slash John Favreau. You know, something strange about Gwyneth Paltrow, I'll let you guys Google it. Google one of her candle smells. Don't, if you're under the age of 18, if you're, do not. If you're under the age Google of 18, don't, don't Google that. But uh, everybody else, yo, pepper pots is something else. But that's neither here nor there. Happy Hogan, John Favreau, uh, D, final answer. Final answer, D, Happy Hogan, John Favreau. Congratulations, right. you are guaranteed $1,000. Yes! Otherwise known as 72 kazoos. What? <laughs> what? What? You're guaranteed to walk home with 72 kazoos. Is this... What, what is this? Some sort of Dr. Seuss? <laughs> 72 kazoos? I, I will uh, not. The budget was a bit tight. Um, so <laughs> I had to I had to make up new prices. Um, so you're walking home with at least 72 kazoos. Thank you. Uh... It'll go well with your inflatable cucumber. <laughs> so first of all, you give me a freaking gherkin, and now I'm gonna have 72 freaking kazoos. What is well, going well, on? Unless you win, unless you win a different prize. Look, Sonic does not approve. He's shaking. He's scared. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't 
didn't even cut the face right. Look. <laughs> what is this? Question six. Are you ready? I'm ready. $2,000. What is the name of the original wasp? Okay. Jane Van Damme, Jeanette Van Dyne, Dune Van Dune, Carol Baskin. <laughs> Carol Baskin. Um, huh. It's not Van Damme or Van Doom. Uh, I would have to... I would have to wager that this is a Jeanette Van Dyne situation. So B, final answer. Final answer? Yes. Correct, it's Jeanette Van Dyne. Jean-Claude Van Damme, I'm good at this. <laughs> what is the name of Tony Stark's robot arm? Is it A, Army, B, Booby, C, A, R, M, or D, Dummy? What is the name of Tony Stark's robot arm? I have a pretty good idea, but... I'm going Do you know which robot arm I'm referring to? No. The one that helps him build the suits uh, in No Way Home. Happy Hogan has him in his house. Yeah, his robot arm. He has a name? It has a name, and it's said many times during the movies. Okay. I'm going to use a 50-50 on this one. You're going to use a 50-50? Yeah. The computer's going to take away two random wrong answers. It's going to take away C and A. Okay, so we're left with Booby and Dummy. I vaguely remember that he called the robot a dummy. Vaguely remember. I don't think he would name it Booby. So we're going to go with D. Dummy, final answer. If before the 50-50, what would your answer most likely have been? Uh, I was leaning towards A-R-M, but then I was thinking, no, it, that's A-I-M that I'm thinking of. That's um, another company. But uh, I think I would have settled on Dummy overall. Correct. Dummy is the correct <sighs> answer. You have won, won $4,000. $4,000. Okay. Question eight. What state is Peter Quill from? It is said in two movies. Yes, it is. Oh, I, I think I A, know this. Mississippi, B, Michigan, C, Missouri, or D, Minnesota. I think I remember him saying that he's from the good old state of Missouri. Sorry, is that your final answer? Yes, final answer. Congratulations! Hey! <laughs> uh, do you know what city he's from? City, no. Neither do I. Oh. <laughs> Question nine. In the French version of Infinity War, instead of Squidward, what does Tony Stark call Ebony Moore? A, Voldemort, B, Slenderman, C, Pennywise, D, E.T. Parlez-vous français? No. <laughs> Bruh, what? Um, the French version. Remember, you do have two lifelines left if you need to. Okay, 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 okay. I, um, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I have a good feeling about this because this character doesn't have a nose. Leave do three of the answers. Slender Slenderman doesn't have a face. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Voldemort A. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Are you sure this is your final answer? Uh, I've already said it, you gotta, you gotta go. <laughs> yes! Correct! Oh yeah. It only made sense. I mean, Pennywise, no, he's a dancing clown. You know, it's funny that you was talking about Ebony Maw because I picked this little thing up while we was doing our toy, uh, our, our other video, the scavenger hunt. Look at that. And as you can see, no nos. I, I picked this up in the scavenger hunt video too. Ah, hey, <laughs> look, we're doing all kinds of stuff. So actually they called him Voldemort in this version because Squidward is called Carlo in the French version of SpongeBob. The uh, calling him Carlo didn't make much sense to anyone who didn't watch SpongeBob. Mm. So, mm. It was just too bland of an insult, so they changed it to Voldemort. I believe that's the same in the German version as well. He's called, he, he's called Voldemort in the German version too. The more you know. All right. Question 10 for $32,000. Ooh. Well, and to be guaranteed to go home with a different prize. I'm so excited. Can't wait to figure out what it is. What is the runtime of Avengers Endgame? Hmm. A, two hours and 29 minutes. B, two hours and 59 minutes. D, three hours and two minutes. D, three hours and nine minutes. <laughs> I, I have a, I have a, I have an inkling of what it could be. Um, but I think we need to poll the audience on this one. You want to ask the audience? Let's, let's poll the audience on this one. 
Okay, so if you're not following us on Twitter, you're missing your chance to be in the video. Yes, follow us on Twitter. We're not verified. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, one of these answers is the runtime of Infinity War. I was going to say, if you ask me what the runtime of Infinity War is, I would be all on it. Because Which I one is it? Oh, it's two hours and 29 minutes. Right. <laughs> Trust me, I, I know exactly how long it is. I had to watch the credits every single time. Which was a short movie. Yeah, yeah, I really should have. All right, so the poll is going up. I will say right now, there is a draw between two of the answers. It also looks like a penis. <laughs> All right, so you have asked the audience, and the audience has gone with C, three hours and two minutes. It's not a unanimous one. Right. I thought they'd be a little bit more helpful to you. You know, that is helpful. And now that I'm thinking back, I was like, man, this is this is kind of long. It's longer than Infinity War. But I'm torn between two hours and 59 minutes or three hours and two minutes. And I'm just going to trust the audience. I will tell you, one is without the end credits and one is with the end credits. Well, yeah, there it is. C, three hours and two minutes. Oh, I just gave you Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the help, host. <laughs> final answer? That is my final answer. <laughs> Technically, I'm part of the audience. Three All hours right. and two minutes. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you are guaranteed $32,000, okay. which is grow your own poo at home. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. This will not stop you this, receiving a grow your own poo. This video is over. We're done here. Finito. Question, the question 11. In Hawkeye, what do Clint Barton and Kate Bishop name Pizza Dog? Okay. Do you enjoy this show? Um, sure. Did you watch this show? I watched it. If, I, you... I tell you, I'll say this. If Marvel will sponsor us, I love that show. <laughs> On Disney Plus, we'll take Disney Plus too. A Lucky, B Arrow, D Tucker, B Bullseye. I mean, honestly, I thought they called him Pizza Dog. <laughs> <laughs> you do have one life uh, lifeline left. Yes, 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 I do. Um, oh, but I got so many more questions left. Oh, no, no, no. Let's, let's. I, I am not sure about this one. So let's go ahead and phone a friend. Okay, who are you gonna call? I'm gonna call my Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh no, he didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna call the Stupendium. Oh, the Stupendium. Yes. Okay. Hello, Stupendium, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I am Jack. Hi. Um, Nem is on a question for sixty-four thousand dollars, and is a bit stumped and needs your help. Would you be able to help him out? Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I can try. This is so unexpected. The next voice <laughs> you're gonna hear will be Nem's uh, asking you the question, and he will have thirty okay. seconds. Feel free to just send him in the wrong direction if you want. No, 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 please. Sixty-four thousand dollars of nerd out's money. No. Okay, okay, sure. Your time starts now. In Hawkeye, what do Clint Barton and Kate Bishop name Pizza Dog? Is it A. Lucky, B. Arrow, C. Tucker, or D. Bullseye? We have thirty seconds. I remember Pizza Dog clearly. Yeah. I feel like it should be like an arrow based name, like an, an archery based name, but my brain is saying Lucky. I'm torn between Arrow and Lucky. I would lean towards Lucky, but it could be Arrow and I'm sorry if I'm wrong. What what percentage are you? I'm like 70-30 for Lucky. Uh, okay, okay. Thanks a lot, Stoops. Appreciate you. My pleasure. You. Good luck. Good luck, man. Thanks. Bye. So, Stupendium did say he was unsure between Lucky and Arrow. 70% Lucky, 30% Arrow. How much do you trust Stupendium? I would trust Stoops with my life. Would you trust him with $64,000? <laughs> Is my life worth? No. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. So I was before this question, I was also leaning towards Lucky. Um, I w I'm going to go ahead and take Bullseye out because that is another character in uh, in Marvel. Arrow, that's too close to Green Arrow. And just in Tucker, that's that's that doesn't really resonate. From what I remember, they kept saying that that dog was lucky, if I'm not mistaken. So I want to trust my friend Stupendium and go with A, lucky, final answer. All right, that is your final answer. For $64,000, Stupendium, Nem Raps. Well done. Yes! <laughs> hey, Lucky. Thank you, Stoops! Fun fact, in the comics, the dog is actually called Arrow, and they changed his uh, his name to Lucky. 
And he has actually also been called Bullseye as well. Oh, wow. Such a great show, by the way. Thank you, Marvel and Disney+. Plus. What a wonderful show to watch during the holidays. Question 12. You are all out of lifelines. No now, more right? lifelines. Ah. Oh, okay. And, and this next question will definitely test even the most hardcore of Marvel fans. Okay. I'm ready. Question 12. What was the model of the final suit Tony Stark used? Mm. Was it A, Mark 82, B, Mark 83, D, Mark 84, or D, Mark 85? Oh my gosh. First of all, let's give it up to Tony Stark for even getting up to 80 anything. Okay, rest in peace. Either way, you are guaranteed your own very your very own grow up poo kit. Um, so you can walk away with the money, or if you get it wrong, you go away with the grow. Oh man. Okay. Let me think for a second. Okay. His last suit that he used. Very last suit that he dies. That in. he dies in. You know. Um. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I feel like you put that highest number in there just to throw me off. So we're gonna go with the number right next to that one. Mark 84. All right, Mark 84. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. You currently have $64,000. This question is for $128,000. Said, I threw Mark 85 in there just to throw you off. You think it's Mark 84? Yeah. You're sure it's not Mark 82 or Mark 83? I, I'm more sure of 84 than I, am, than I am of those two. Well, he did have a Mark 82 suit. Okay. He did have a Mark 83 suit. Yes. He did have a Mark 84 suit. Yes. But... He did have a Mark 85 oh, suit. The correct answer was D, Mark no. 85. Oh, no. It's okay. You're going home with your very own Grow Your Own Poo Kit. It will arrive in the next couple of business days. No. Congratulations, Nem Rams. <laughs> Hey, I had fun. I won some money. I, I got some great no, no, prizes. You no, you didn't. Huh? You, you didn't win anymore. Uh, you wouldn't have grown up yeah, yeah. And also 72 freaking zoos. So. Oh, no, that, that got replaced by the grow. Up. I don't get the kazoos. Don't the I just get poo. We, oh. <laughs> we, don't, we, we don't have the budget for both. I'm sorry. They can't get any worse. God. Okay, well, I have been your host, Jack. This has been them. Um, like the video if you want to see one of these with Ben. Comment. What you want to see next, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.